So now let's go through what plugins you can use for different features for your WordPress site. So far we've set up the site, we've got the settings, we've got our GDPR, we've got security added to our site, we know how to do the posts, how to make our posts stand out using SEO. However, what other features can we now add onto our WordPress site? So let's start with stuff like galleries first. And of course we're gonna be using plugins because plugins will give you all the extra features. Um, unless you know how to code yourself, you can simply download it. You get so many free plugins. And let's start with a gallery first. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to type gallery in the search bar um, and let's see what we have on offer. As you can see, we have lots of different options here. So if you want to have a display gallery, you might have a small blog, you might um, be an artist, you might have photographs, or you might just want to display something in a nice looking gallery. So let's just go first. I've used Word friend, uh, WordPress gallery plugin before, and that seems to be quite a good one. You can manage all your galleries and then add galleries in rather than having to add individual images. Now, of course, the choice is up to you um, which one you add. There are lots and lots. So make sure that it's, of course, compatible with your version make sure how many downloads it has has it been used a lot and has it got very good uh, reviews from it not only that you also have lots of different variations so here you got the video gallery um, on YouTube this gallery is a user-friendly plugin to display users or hashtags based um, on gallery feeds so you get more specific ones and then you get more general ones where you can simply just upload different galleries you can even add plugins which uh, as well as having the gallery plugin you can have gallery custom links and even ones that hook on to WooCommerce which is an e-commerce store next up what if we want to have a user login so we can have um, users logging in um, and making their own profile so what I would actually suggest for this is the ultimate member user profile user registration login and membership plugin this is a really great free plugin as you can see it's got 200,000 plus active installations um, it's got a load of good reviews and I've used it for many of my stuff it also hooks in very well with forums and anywhere um, that people might need to submit posts next up we have uh, user submitted posts this particular plugin here user submitted posts um, although it's not got a huge huge amount of downloads it's 30,000 plus it's got 814 really good reviews um, and it's really good it hooks into the member registration form so once people log in they've got their account um, they can then go ahead and submit a post for you this is great if you want to make like a custom forum or like a social group uh, where people can make their memberships they can log on they can post if they're logged on they can maybe view it if they're a guest or you can even have it so guests can write as well you get lots of different options um, and they all hook into to each other they're all compatible with the latest version of wordpress and um, so user submitted post would definitely be a good one for that after that we've got a forum what if you want to start up a forum for your site and you want to do it for absolutely free without a paid one so a great thing for this is actually wp foro again with only about 30,000 active installations um it, let's have a look it is actually one of the the most downloaded on here for this specific thing um however it's absolutely free and you get a really great responsive site with a forum um in fact let's log into one of my pages here or one of my sites and we can actually go to the forum now again this has all been done on wordpress um everything on here from the forums um user submitted posts let's go to the forum now so let's just go to the forum and let's just check it out you can alter the appearance as well so you can have different sizes it comes with its own login and log out in case you don't have your own uh, user submitted membership you can make lots of active chats they can create topics on there once they're logged in you get some really cool little widgets so you can actually check out your notifications if you've liked something you might have submitted a post and you might have some comments so the notifications will come there you can also check if anybody has liked your membership um, you get like a membership rating as well so lots of cool free stuff that you can get with this in particular plugin um, and that was WP Foro forum and it's it's really good i mean otherwise apart from that you got stuff like buddy press which is like a social media one however i've heard lots of complaints from people because it's not just a standalone plugin it needs lots of other different plugins so you need to make sure the other plugins have stayed up to date and um, you got to connect them all together so that's a really really good free way of making a free forum next up we have the side kit by google analytics search console adsense and speed as well this is a really good plugin um, because first of all if you're on the google search console like we've done a little bit earlier in the course and you're on analytics you can actually connect them both up to show within your WordPress not only that once you do add uh, AdSense as well Google AdSense you can start to monetize your pages uh, meaning that once you do hit a certain amount of visitors anybody that clicks on the ads you're gonna get paid for them ads uh, or a certain little percentage you might get a few pennies per ad or something like that 
and then you can start earning money. However, to do that easily in WordPress, you're gonna need site kits by Google to connect your AdSense to it, so you can connect your uh, WordPress site. However, you can also add your analytics in your Search Console and your AdSense, so you can literally check everything all in one place. Sticking on the same page here, site reviews. Um, do you want to have on-page site reviews? Uh, they actually look really good. If I head back over to my site again, um, let's just check out the review page. And as you can see, this again is totally free. People can simply log on, they can leave a review here, leave a star rating, leave the actual review, then they submit the review. Um, you can have a summary thing underneath, which will give you the rating summary for all of them. And then underneath here, you can see the actual uh, reviews themselves. And you can set that up with different short codes um, using the short code button that we went over earlier when creating websites put in the short code there um, and it's going to display all of this for you and that's a really good way of getting on site reviews too of course with that we have our seo plugins um, and like we spoke about earlier yoast seo is a good one and of course all in one seo all in one seo is really highly recommended though i use this on all of my sites and it really does help rank your stuff and also uh, it keeps in mind what seo bits you are missing what else you need to do and it's always good by the end of your post to make sure that you have a really good score on there before you're sending it out knowing that you're going to be ranking much better forms you're going to want a way to be able to get free forms and actually get them forms submitted to you the email sent and everything like that you're going to want a good way to be able to get your forms um, your submitted forms be able to check them and for free now one thing is is that some form plugins they don't actually give you the ability to check your forms easily they might just email you once but then you can't check out the submitted forms on site however Forminator will let you do that not only that it's got free integration with payment as well so if you're using PayPal and WooCommerce um, you can actually add the payment into the form um, it gives you a lot of really good choices um, from even uploading files and let's just take a little look inside to see how easy it is and all you got to do is simply insert fields so we want the name let's add the name right there click OK click insert fields and then you get to choose any options whether you want what you want the placeholder to say uh, with the settings is it optional is it required what's the error message going to be um, and then we can simply add it like that much like you create your pages and your post you can add a text area again just with a little settings um, what's it going to be called is it required is it not do you want to use the rich text editor for them to be able to uh, edit their text a little bit better you get lots and lots of free choices with Forminator so I really do suggest it um, obviously after that you can preview it so let's just go ahead and preview the form um, there's our form it's that quick um, once we publish it it's going to give us a short code um, and this short code we can simply go into a page go into a post go into a widget um, select the short code option and we can simply copy that paste it into the short code option um, and it's going to display our form on whatever page or post that we've added it on not only that you can also create polls you can create quizzes and you can also come to your submissions and view them for free um, other plugins what they'll do is this particular section here is they might put this on pro so you can't actually view all your submissions um, otherwise on here we can actually select which form we're looking at we can show the submissions and if we do have any um, they're going to show up here and we can double check them which is really good um, some of the other really well-known ones which downloaded millions of times um, don't actually have this option and it's quite frustrating because um, you either have to get a single email and try and find where that email is uh, or try and track it back another way. Finally, it's going to be WooCommerce. How can you make an e-commerce store um, for free on your site? And that is going to be WooCommerce. Of course, it's the number one e-commerce plugin and store really. By downloading the WooCommerce plugin, it's going to give you lots and lots of different options. Um, you can list all your products. You can have different variations, as you can see here. And it's all controlled through your WordPress. You can add a stock, how much stock you have, the price. You can add different variations, like I just said. So you might have different colors different sizes you can go ahead pick you can add free payment methods as well um, such as PayPal using their credit or debit card buy now options and you can make a really good e-commerce store without actually having to spend a penny on the plugins which also brings me on to my last plugin which is going to be swatches so if you do actually go for the WooCommerce um, and you're going for an e-commerce store you're going to want to have variations however variations such as colors sizes they don't come for free on WooCommerce you got to have the pro product um, However, by going and downloading the Swatches plugin, you can actually create really uh, nice effective ones like I just showed before. We had three different sections, all with lots of different choices. And you can do that for free and quite easily as well using the Swatches plugin.